Batman dying is easy by Bat in the Sun. Oh, that's right, baby. J Rock is here because this just dropped an anticipated fan film that J Rock helped put his money into because he wanted to see this come to fruition even in the middle of the pandemic. So come on back because we got to check this thing out. Hi, J Rock has come back. What is happening in 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 with the millions <laughs> and millions of J Rock fans? Baby J Rock is here. Batman dying is easy from Bat in the Sun fan film trailer just dropped. Oh, we not gonna waste no time. J Rock just has this to say. If you got a reaction request that you want J Rock to check out, put it down in the comment section below. Make sure you hit that like button, you subscribe, and you share. Let's waste no time. Let's get right to this, baby. Let's go. They always be killing it with the with the fan films, man. Bat in the sun is it. Yes sir. Yes sir. There he is. There are no leads on the three missing police officers. The commissioner had this to say. I got the best people working on it, but the trails are on coal. The district attorney has launched multiple Please. investigations, but no results. Every night, the government citizens have taken to the streets to candlelight vigils in hopes that they will find it. Oh, shuck it, Duffy. Quack, quack. Damn, oh, there he is. Oh, over the Green face, they look even scarier. The girls, my houses, seem to enjoy it. Never again. Oh! oh. oh. Please don't leave me here. Please. 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 Oh, come on, brother. Come on. Not the people's jewels. Oh. Oh. Two months later. Uh -huh. Hey. 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 That ain't Commissioner Board. Hey, you showed up. How's it hanging there, Bats? I don't have any time for your lack of candor, Bullock. Talk. You think I enjoy coming up here in the middle of the night? Freezing my butt off. Just because Gordon's in the hospital. I got real cases. I got actual things to do. Three of my men are missing here. You know what? I'm gonna find out where they are. One way or another. I don't really have a lot of... Extra time. Love this Batman, the dog. Sit, freak in a in a, in a cape, flying around the city, pretending to be a superhero. You know, just because Gordon respects you doesn't mean I have to, right? That goes both ways. Oh. Listen, you know what? I have some good news for you. 
The face to face clown is uh, dying. Anything else? Well, uh, he's demanding to see you, of course. You guys uh, spend most of your life together, right? I thought maybe you'd be excited. Be a little celebration from your side of things. No, well, as far as I'm concerned, one of you madness dwellers is getting exactly what you deserve. Death of the Joker, nothing to celebrate. All I'm saying is that somebody should pull the trigger on him a long time ago. Well, you're the one with a gun and a license to kill. Yeah, but don't tempt me there, man. Yeah, do it, and you'll see exactly how deep this well of madness can run. Can we get a video game with this with this Batman right here, please? Or you know, can I get a two three hour movie with this Batman right here, please? Listen, I thought I told you to give me a minute. He's gone. Anyway, deuces. I ain't got time for this, brother. Hey, bats! Hugo, I'm on my way. Transfer Joker from his cell to the recreation room. I see you. I spoke to Lieutenant Bullock. I would have reached out to you personally, but I have no way of contacting you directly. <laughs> As it should be. So he, he, he plays like the best Batman of anybody. I ain't, I ain't even just, I'm, I'm talking about big screen too. Like, he is one of the best Batmans J-Rock has ever seen. Now, there's a lot of fan films that have Batman. No, he is the best non-big screen Batman. He ain't the best Batman, but damn, he's right up there, man. Good evening to all. This is Dr. Hugo Strange. Him. This announcement is regarding he just goes through the metal detector and everything. Due to a code B27, dinner and all night activities could be delayed until further notice. Mandatory lockdown is in effect. Dang. Since please be extra cautious. That is all. Not only this, it belongs to you, but everyone else uses it. <laughs> Boys and I. on the Gotham Bridge. Or the old water reserve. Or Jerry's abandoned circus. Televised for millions to see. It wasn't supposed to end like this. What do you want? Ah, 
I'm dying. Melanoma. Well, like I said, I said Beth wasn't too funny, was it? The night we first met. Hmm. With all my close calls, skin cancer, the humor is not lost on me. I guess dying is easy. Yeah, and comedy is hard. Why am I here? That's a great question. I want you to finish what you started. I want you, Batsy, to kill me, not the cancer. Our legacy is too grand to end with a whimper. It must be epic. It must be gut-wrenching. You have nothing to say. I just told you that I'm dying. This is it, the final confrontation. After all we've been through, this is our final soliloquy. I don't care about our legacy. Mm. You're a coward! You won't kill me because you're afraid. Not because of some high moral code or your one rule. It's because without me, you can't justify your own existence. You're right. I am afraid. I'm afraid of myself. That once I murder, I'll like the taste of it. And then I'll kill every single inmate at Arkham Asylum. But you need me. Freeze has Nora. Poison Ivy has her environmental cause. Riddler has his puzzles. But you, you have nothing. Without me, you become your worst fear. And that's being upstaged by everyone here. I am the king of this asylum. See my crown? It sparkles in the bitter glow of twilight. Yep, dance with double bell I always See, Batsy, I'm the one thing that you are not. You've spent your whole life fighting crime, night after night, dead sidekick after dead sidekick. And for what? You're utterly miserable. Afraid of the one thing that could possibly bring you joy. See, I am completely and genuinely happy. I wake up every morning with a great big smile. I absolutely love my life. Look like you want to punch him in the face, don't you? But you, you absolutely hate yours. I've often wondered, where were you when the boy laid bleeding out? On the floor in that dusty warehouse. Where were you? True, presenting him to me was a stroke of genius, My masterful in your story writing. And I have to give the boy credit. He knew how to sell it. His firm, muscular body, breaking under the weight of my lead crowbar. Do you know what his last words were? With his last breath, what he said. He said your name over and over again. I would give anything to hear the boy scream your name one last time. Oh, did I hit a nerve? Ouch. Well, I digress. Moving on. How could we forget our favorite redhead? So photogenic. So young. Do you not remember most about this night? It was her hair. It 
of everyone in this asylum. Half the tombstones Gotham are because of you. That's your legacy. Enough! How many people would still be alive if you had died years ago? Robin would have a little flock of his own. And Barbara... Her dreams shattered, like her spine. <laughs> you say that you're king around here, but all I hear is the same old song and dance. You're no longer relevant. When's the last time that you've been in the news? Croc, Ivy, Freeze. Even Condiment King have had their headlines. What have you done? Let me in. Let me on the curtain, Patsy. You know those three missing police officers? I killed them. What? I gutted them and left them to rot at O'Neill's toy land. I can't tell you how much of a joy it's been to watch in secret as Gotham's torn itself apart. Oracle, did you get all that? Loud and clear. O'Neill's toiling. I'm sending the info to GCPD now. You're so predictable. I knew that if I worked you off, you'd lose your focus. Worked up. I'm dying. Are you? about I faked your toxicology report along with your blood samples uh, press me I discovered that one of Jervis's thugs had possession of a police baton it was registered to one of the missing police officers I found three sets of fingerprints and one of them was yours said you don't care about me, but you do. You spent weeks planning and preparing this so we could have another awe-inspiring performance. I must say, Betsy, bravo, bravo. I guess dying isn't easy. Is that a joke? <laughs> Down here, Lieutenant. All right. Good job. See you guys downtown tomorrow. All right. Take it easy. So, you've been playing everyone the whole time. Me included. You'd have to be real. You think I was too stupid to sell it? Those are your words, not mine. I wish we could have saved the men in time. Those men were already dead. <laughs> Excuse me, what was that? 
What did you just say? I said they were already dead. You knew they were dead? Yes. What was all that about? Why did you do all that for them? I didn't do it for them. I did it for their families. I had to take away hope so their families could heal. It said that the worst thing to come out of Pandora's box were not the sorrows or the plagues. It was hope itself. Hope's a gamble. Hope lacks certainty. And this city knows all too well what hopelessness and pain can do. It drives it mad. Now without hope, maybe the family can start the healing process and move on. I can see why Gordon respects you. He used to think you were too crazy to deal with. But I realize now, underneath that Halloween costume, you're actually not such a bad guy at all. Don't take your eyes off that, he's gonna disappear. <laughs> right calling me a madness dweller. Not knowing why or who killed my parents has left me with this endless open wound. An abyss that I stare into every night. It's that lack of closure that's turned me into this monster. A monster that I both fear and embrace. A monster that I call the Batman. Just laugh away. That one. Well, J Rock says this. Congratulations to Bat and the Sun. Uh, you guys did an amazing job. I know that this was not easy, especially in the middle of a pandemic, to try to put any type of production together, whether it be 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, however long it is. So, J Rock commends you guys. You guys did a hell of a job. Um, only thing I would say is that I was just hoping for a little bit more action. Right? It kicked off Batman kicking in and laying a smackdown on those jabronis and Rudy Poos. And so I was hoping just for a little bit more Batman action. But overall, great job. You guys did a phenomenal job in uh, putting this together. And J-Rock knows that this is not the end. Bat in the sun. There's only the beginning. And uh, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with next. I will be watching and contributing. Post comments down below and let J-Rock know what you thought of his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. If you enjoyed the great one's reaction hit that like button subscribe and share also be sure to hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified thank you for joining jay rock until next time mamba gg and wakanda forever what jay rock is okay